Our cameras, a 16-year-old turned in by her own mom. She and another teen accused of attacking an elderly woman after a subway ride. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Maurice Dubois. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco live in downtown Brooklyn with the latest on the subway attack. Tracy. Maurice and Christine, those two teens turned into police by their mothers after they saw images of their daughters on TV. Now, one of those teens, a 16-year-old, is here at criminal court. She will be charged as an adult, set to be arraigned any minute now. The other, a 15-year-old girl. Now, both of them are facing assault charges for that violent attack on a 78-year-old woman. Oh, my God. Shut up. Surprised to see our camera, the 16-year-old stunned reaction as she was let out of the NYPD's Transit Bureau in Coney Island, under arrest for the violent beating of a 78-year-old woman, a 15-year-old girl also under arrest. Ted Hamilton says the knockdown happened so quickly, he had seconds to react. I just saw an older woman being attacked, so, you know, I just went over and tried to help her out. Police say the two teens seen in these surveillance images beat up the elderly woman after a confrontation at the Franklin Avenue station at Fulton Street in Bedford Stuyvesant Thursday afternoon. They say one of the teens was sprawled out on the subway seats, and when the woman asked if she would move her foot so she could sit down, words were exchanged. And when the elderly woman got off at Franklin Avenue, the teens followed her on the platform, where Hamilton says the 15 year old in white took her down. The girl attacked her from behind, hit her in the face. Knocked her down, uh, and um, and then another girl came and, and restrained the girl that was hitting her. Hamilton says he carried the woman up the station stairs, where she notified the booth clerk, who then called 911. The victim was taken to Methodist Hospital with minor injuries to her face and knee. She was agitated. She was hurt. I mean, she was she was a little disoriented. Earlier, the elderly woman's family tells us she's doing okay, but understandably shaken. We're live tonight from downtown Brooklyn. Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News. Tracy, thank you. Tonight